Alright, how to grow an Instagram. <laughs> Come on! Damn it! My data is gone. What do we where do I go now? The, li the library? <sighs> go to the library. Fucking library! Go to the same Does a library even have books about Instagram? Whoa, this is cool. Okay, I gotta get this one. Hopefully this one's good. Um, this is a lot of work. I wish I could just watch a video on how to grow on Instagram rather than read this bullshit. Hi, you're on the Ask Jade Show. Hey. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? My name is Gus and I am from South Florida. How did you start off? Like when you only had like a thousand followers and you were like managing other clients, like what was your secret? Uh, first of all, excited for you to be on the show. How long have you been doing social media for? Two months. Okay, two months, right. When I started, it was also similarly. Like I guess the biggest roadblock, me, you, my face, is like being an expert, even when you're not an expert, right? So diving in deeper, I think the biggest problem people have is when you're first starting to grow, you feel like an imposter. You're not good enough to post because no one gives a shit about you. Try this exercise out with me. Ask yourself who is an expert in your eyes. If you feel like an influencer that's huge on YouTube or Instagram is your idol, then think about that person. Now, all you wanna do is imagine them in the successful high up on the mountain, they're better than you and you can never do anything to be them. Now you wanna ask yourself, what is the one step before they got to that point? Then you wanna keep working backwards. What happens is you realize the successful people you look up to or compare yourself to, their one step below was fucking up a bunch of times, posting content and didn't get views over and over and over, and one of them popped. You have to understand when you really work backwards, it's the person that fails the most wins the most. And I realized that people lack productivity. So I started making content about how to take pictures better on Instagram and making captions that are long and valuable. Just sharing my thoughts. And what happened was because I was also following people based in my community, essentially just following my friends' followers because I'm a snake, I grew an audience and that's how you can first start growing. I this exercise with anyone, really work back on their success. I used to study people's Instagram. One of the person I studied was like Alexis Wren. I just want to know what she did. You know, what is the time she posted? What are the captions she using? How is she being funny and relatable? So with that being said, ask yourself, who's your idol? Work back. You can kind of see that you're not too far away from the people you admire the most. Trust me. Tell me about your case. The gig that's been like offered in my lap is a tar company that has 44K following and they really need help with their social media management. Friend did the proposal. I have to do like a 90 day plan. How I could, like a strategy of how I could improve their social media. I'm kind of struggling with that because I have this plan, but it's just like so many ideas what I could do with the account. These past two weeks, I've been messing with bot automation. I don't know the long term. Like I'm trying to use them as organically as possible and as humanly as possible. Like, Well, here's the thing. Long term strategy is never going to be something that works for short term. For example, there's nothing else of the bot's purpose other than just to get short-term success, right? Like, right. there's a difference between push and pull, right? Like, a bot is a push. It's a push notification. People get it on their phone, right? A pull is people genuinely, like, click on a profile because they search it on Google search and they find it valuable. So... In order to do long term, I mean, the biggest question is why do people search for me? That is going to be long term. Is the question perhaps how you would use a bot? Because the answer is you really don't use a bot for long term. I find that it's only for short term. Would you ever use it for like clients at all? Oh, of course. You have to understand, right? If your job is to do social media management, that the bot's perfect for it. But if your job is to make someone sales, make someone money, grow their business, you don't want to rely on it. All right, Gus, great talking to you. Of course, have a great day. I've done so many Ask Jade shows. By far, Gus has made one of the most top awkward funny <laughs> episodes ever. And by the way, awkward's not a bad thing because I'm weird as fuck. So thanks for being weird with me. I feel like a lot of times we can be also pretentious online as being marketers, but I'm not gonna even cut this out. This was great. Love you, Gus. You're not, your name's not even even Russ, it's Gus, god damn it. Like, how do you hack that mindset and just keep going? Okay, you don't need to. I took a break for two years, I want to It's okay, last video is February. No, 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 it's like a picture. Okay, that's okay. I took a tear gap and I remember when I got back, it was really awkward. But this is the thing, because I hear in you that you don't really, your voice is telling you that you're not good enough, right? Have you ever feel like I'm not doing enough? 
Yeah. Would you, if you saw, okay, if you have a, do you have another friend who's doing YouTube or Instagram as well? Not really, I'm my only like creative person in my life. Okay, well you need to, That's you need to find these yeah, people. Yeah, I have, I'm so excited because, about like, that. Because like, if you told, for example, if I gave you like Shakira, you know, Shakira just posted a first video, would you tell her that she, she hasn't posted for like three months, would you just be like, you suck or no? See like, why, why would you tell yourself that? If you won't tell yeah. Shakira that, are, are, is Shakira so better true. than you? Is Shakira better than you? No, you guys are like, right? So I would say like, I always like to see myself in third person. I literally, sometimes I, that's like really insane. I sound like mentally insane. <laughs> but I see myself from the side of you. And I talk to myself, like I'm like talking like this, like, like that. Because like, if I just see myself like straight at me, I feel like we're all the worst enemy. So try to think about it like that. Like if you wouldn't say that to Shakira, so it's so cool to say. <laughs> it's probably, it's like the worst thing to do yourself. So you deserve so much more. I think it's also because I don't know what to do. Like, what's my next step? Because I'm like, like, should I get a job? Or should I hack this like, Instagram game? Or what should I do? Like everything. Like everything. I think action breeds clarity. You try it. If it doesn't work, because like the thing is, I don't know. If the answer is you don't know, then you have to do a lot of shit to figure out, and you'll get clarity after. So much shade. So nice meeting you. Yeah. Nice yeah, thank you for coming. I don't confident enough to speak in front of camera. Oh. Uh, how many videos do you have? Only five. Uh, five? Okay. <laughs> alpha? I don't be having like alpha. Because What's an alpha? What is, what is an alpha, you guys? Maybe alpha male. Alpha, alpha male? Alpha male. Yeah. Did, he, did someone yeah. just tell you you're not like a, a guy? <laughs> like you're not a man? Don't confident in front of camera. So I... If your problem right now, Sorry. if you're too perfectionist because you feel like you're not confident enough, what's the solution? How do you, how do you get confident? Practice. You do it over and over and over. That'll fix your problem. And content, do you like this? Hi, I'm Alpha. Uh, no, no. Hi, I'm Alpha. Oh, no. Uh, hi, I'm yeah, Alpha. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you, when, you, when you edit my videos, I mess up a lot, right? Editing yeah. yeah. covers everything. Oh, I think it's just me. <laughs> no, I, I suck at, I, I really stutter a lot in my videos. A lot. Oh, yeah? Until now, I, I still don't speak perfectly. Mm. I'm surprised I'm still speaking English right now. To be blind, like. But with videos, you can. You don't have confidence, like in real life. Videos, it's easy because, like in real life, you have like one shot to like perf have this image. But in videos, you can be like, "Hey, what's up?" Bro? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Hey, what's hey, up, guys? What's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> it's not special. Everyone goes through that. I will get better if I much practice. Practice. Probably not current. Hello, you're on the ass. Jade Show. Hey Jade, how are you? I'm doing great. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Alana Zingano and I'm from Dallas. Dallas? Were you at the meetup perhaps? Yeah, I was I wasn't at the Dallas meetup. I was at uh one of your LA meetups over the summer. I remember. What's up? How are you doing? How can I help you? I'm good, I'm good. Tell me, share to the the show and audience what happened since the last time we chatted. Life then. So, you know, throughout my Instagram stories and, and things like that, you know, I'm turning it around, doing a little bit more video, showing my face, not just, you know, anything and everything, making it more personable. I wanted to thank you for, you know, your positivity, uh, always so helpful. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to hear it. Thanks so much for calling in. Can you ask me anything? What's what's a question you had? You know, how can I push my momentum even further if you were to see one thing that would be, you know, the biggest thing for you if you were just looking at the, the, my channel, you know, top of mind, you know, work on this. My biggest tip for thumbnails specifically is, is a thumbnail getting people to ask questions? I think something that's really interesting is not necessarily to you know, roast your YouTube, but in general, you typically click on videos based on how curious it is, right? Like, you, whenever you do something on the Explore page, whenever you go somewhere, I think it drives a lot of curiosity, right, as a human psyche. So, my biggest tip for you is when you're making a thumbnail, when you're making a video, you want to ask yourself, how many questions can, can I make my audience think about? For example, if it's a Disneyland video and it's like a dramatic thumbnail of you like being, you know, a surprised emotion, maybe a question people have is, why is she surprised? When you can really drive more and more questions, that's how you can drive more clicks. So, I actually don't know, girl. What I would say for you, Lana, is figure out ways to, um, this is actually a new tip I came up with, actually, so if you can figure it out, that'd be so cool to hear back. But my biggest tip is, I don't see as many questions because when I look at your account I can basically I answer my own question which is okay it's visiting YouTube headquarters got it there's no curiosity built in does that make sense got it yeah was that cool uh, does no, that make sense? what would be the question what would be the question that I would turn it around in in the in the thumbnail and in the title as well is you know guess where I went this weekend and have a, a leading thumbnail to kind of uh, get them guessing 
Yeah, I mean, go even deeper. Like, what do people really care about? Maybe people don't give a shit about where you're going. They want to care about, like, what happened this week at, you know, you can still use YouTube headquarters in the title, but you add emotion, like, guess who I met? Or it's, like, even going deeper. Um, another question is, like, a lot of people, when they, you know, share their story, and again, you're being more personal, which is great, you can kind of make, like, a series of, like, life updates, and it's, like, what happened this week. So I would say making people be more curious is the key way to get people to still engage. So going back to Alana's question, I actually wanna dive in deeper. Alana does vlogs and I know a lot of you guys are doing vlogs too. So one of my biggest tips ever, and again, I just recently you know, found this out. The reason why videos perform better is when you're able to get people to be more and more curious. And the only way to drive curiosity is through emotion. So if you're surprised, that's really good. If you can get people to be like, oh my God, I'm so sad you know what happened um, if you ever look at your you know honestly go through your suggested videos one of the best examples I have is when David Dobrik does vlog he's like you know um, has a title of like a card throwing trick shots and it's like painful and the faces are so extravagantly scared so people are like whoa what happened here there's no way he threw you know painful trick shots right another example is you know David Dobrik has a picture with Karina Croft of her boobs and says she finally got them done and it's like a question of like she got what done what did she do so if you're making content on YouTube especially when you're making thumbnails make people curious if you're just doing cinematic shit cool but what's what's the curiosity right if you're just doing photography why do people care ask yourself what questions are people asking I was honestly so so nervous for this episode because I'm just like having a lot of anxiety and um, if you're curious to know why I'm having a lot of anxiety it's because I had a client cancel on me um, and we had a project basically I consulted for one of this eyewear company and we're not continuing the project anymore which is okay and I had people fire me in the past but um, I really really enjoyed working with this company so um, that's a bummer but I'm sure um, everything will be okay People ask me why I'm credible and why I'm the best and I've never said I was the best and I've never said I'm like a marketing guru but what I do know is marketing is always changing right I I think of ideas on the spot because marketing is always, always changing from yesterday. There's a new update on Instagram. On YouTube, there's going to be a new algorithm change, right? So if everything's changing, no one's an expert. And you don't have to know everything because technology is moving so fast. I guess my entire speech is just to say, I'm not the shit. I don't think I'm the shit. I don't think you should think that I'm the shit. I just want to be real with you guys and show you guys that I care about you. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And I love you guys so, so much. Catch you guys in the next one. And I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you provided me. And subscribe to the podcast because I want to keep climbing the charts. <laughs> Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the Ask Jade Show collection series. I'm going to link below a playlist where you can watch all the other episodes. We have so much over the years, so your questions are being asked every single episode. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I'll see you the next time. Peace. I'm going to close in five minutes.